Welcome back, Sethling here. The 14W04A snapshot, Mojang released a cool feature which allows you to basically use redstone to determine how rotated an item is in the item frame. And so you can use that to make, for instance, a combo lock. And this is something I showed in my snapshot video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna give you a tutorial for how to build this for yourself. And after you watch the video, you'll not only understand how to build it, but also how it works. It's actually fairly simple. Uh, and it uses some cool components, which you can probably use in other creations. So first, let's go over what the feature is itself. Here we've got an item in an item frame. If I take the item out of the item frame, you'll notice the comparator is off. Now, when I put the item back in, the comparator is on, and it's got an output of one. That is, one piece of redstone dust here is lit up. When I rotate that item, this uh, redstone torch, uh, now the comparator is outputting two, and so two lamps are lit up. And as I keep rotating it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is the largest value that you can get the comparator to output. If I rotate it one more time, it's going to go all the way back to where it started, which was one. So this is what the feature is, and it lets you read um, basically rotational state of an item on the opposite side of a block. So this can this redstone comparator can be hidden behind a wall and this item frame is on the other side of the wall. So over here, this is the basic component that we're gonna repeat several times in order to build our combo lock. Uh, we can see I've got the torch rotated up and to the left. This is, okay, so the default state of the torch is down, so this would be one, two, three, four. So this is the fourth rotational state. And we can see it's outputting a redstone signal of four, one, two, three, four the four, four pieces of redstone dust are turned on. Now, in this state, the output line here is all off. But you'll notice, if you watch that redstone dust in the background, as I rotate the item frame, that turns on unless the stick of the torch is pointing up and to the left. That means, you know, this part of the torch is pointing up and to the left. And yeah, so any anything that isn't up to the left, that redstone is going to be on. So basically what the circuit back here does is it determines if the rotational value uh, of the of the object in the frame is pointing up to the left or is, is in the fourth state. And the way it does this is, sorry about that, I had to restart Minecraft. I've been having problems with uh, lag a little bit in, in the snapshots. Anyway, the way that it does... The, the comparison is basically uh, I've marked off four spots here and that's the point where I want the redstone dust to be in order for this output line to be off. And so I've put a torch on the side here and since we have an output of four, this torch is off. Uh, if, it, if the redstone signal goes up into the, the fifth uh, value so that the redstone dust on this, on this uh, red wool block is turned on, it's going to trigger this repeater. So basically, if the signal is too low, then the torch will be on. And basically, it'd be like this. The torch would be on. Uh, if the signal is too high, then the repeater here is going to be on. So only if it's exactly this value of 4 will this uh, circuit turn, uh, the output of the circuit here, turn off. And so that's the, that's the basis. And we're just going to repeat this kind of circuit several times. We'll use different numbers of green blocks to indicate uh, basically the combination for the lock. Now I'm going to go ahead and build it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven should do it. I'm going to do three uh, combo, a three-piece combo, just like in my first example. So first I'm going to put down uh, the item frames, and I'm going to put in the redstone torches in the item frames. And then I need something to read those item frames, so I'm going to put down comparators on the opposite side of the wall. You can see they're already turning on because there's an item in the item frame. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick the combo that I want to actually use. So here I'm going to turn this one that way. Uh, I'm going to go maybe down into the right and then um, to the left. Sure. So I'm going to pick my combo, and that's going to be the first step of actually building the lock. Now, at this point, I'm going to add a bunch of wool here, and I'll probably be deleting some of this wool later, but I'm going to add all this wool so that I can see what the current redstone output of each of these signals is. So I'm going to basically just place things until I see dust that's off. So this dust is off. I can go ahead and break everything so that uh, only the dust that's on is remaining. Uh, this one was a bit longer. I rotated it a bit more. I'll even have to add more 
uh, more of these blocks out here. And yeah, so I can get rid of these two blocks because the redstone dust was off and you can, it's, it can be kind of hard to see if you're not used to it. Um, I work with redstone a lot, but you can see there's no particles coming off of this one. That means it's off. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell just based on color, but the particles always tell. And then here we'll do the same thing. Okay, so this one is off. Delete these. I'm going to add a red block at the end of each of these, just like I have over in the example circuit over here. And we'll put a piece of redstone dust up there as well. Now I'm going to put a redstone torch on the side of the last green wool block on each of these lines. And also just like the circuit over there. And then I'm also going to put down uh, a couple blocks at the end of these, and this is going to house the repeater which tests if the signal strength is too large. And so now you can see we've just built the, the, the sample circuit four, or three times. So do it like that. And since the combo is right, all of these are going to be off right now. Uh, so, so basically, uh, if I rotate this one at all, you'll see the output here turns on. And so, but if it's, if it's set to that exact value, pointing to the left like we had it, uh, it'll be off. So we have the combo programmed in. Now at this point, all we have to do is connect all of this redstone dust and the outputs together. So I'll just do that, and then uh, I need this one connected as well. Uh, I guess we can just do it like this. It doesn't really matter how I connect it. As long as the distance between the farthest piece of redstone dust and wherever you're trying to get the signal to is less than 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's just go ahead and add a repeater here. Um, and that'll make sure that no matter what, this, this, the outputs of any of these lines is going to make it to where we want it to go. Uh, I'm going to put a door here. Now I'm using a, a cool trick here. Uh, you'll notice that I placed the door uh, kind of facing this way. So right now the door is actually closed, technically. But you know, from here, it looks like it's open. And which way is open and which way is closed is a matter of opinion on tours. But uh, with the current way we have it, it's unpowered. Now, if I actually go ahead and power this line, you'll see it powers this block, which is next to the door. So the door will close when it's powered and it, it'll open when it's unpowered from this point of view. Um, from the point of view of where I placed it, it's going to uh, open when it's powered and uh, no, yeah, <laughs> open when it's powered and close when it's unpowered. Anyway, so now we've built the combo log. This is actually done. Uh, if I uh, go ahead and reset it, okay, I'll have to remember. Okay, it says bottom left, bottom right, left. Okay, so let's just go ahead and reset these back to um, default. Okay, so now uh, I go, okay, this is bottom left, bottom right, and yeah, okay. <laughs> I did remember it. Yeah, so ev for every additional combo element that you add, I have three here. For each additional one, it'll multiply the number of possible combinations by eight. So right now we have 512. If you uh, added another um, another item frame here, you would have, what is that, like 2,000 roughly. If you added another one, it'd be 16,000. So you can get you can get it to be as secure as you want. No one's going to try to enter 16,000 uh, combinations manually. So that's pretty much how it works. That should tell you everything you need to know about how to build this for yourself. Uh, this is a simpler version, uh, probably the simplest version of this type of lock that you can build. Uh, Generic B had a really cool version with only a single item frame and you had to enter in multiple pieces of combination with the item frame. That was really cool. Uh, but it's a bit more difficult to build. So I thought I would just do a tutorial. This is not uh, this is not redstone rocket science exactly, but it's probably useful for a lot of people out there just trying to figure out how to use redstone. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.